Hello and welcome to the review of Open Heavens Daily Devotional for Thursday, 2nd September 2021. Our topic today is It Shall Be Well. It Shall Be Well. Let us pray. Our Father and our King, thank you for giving us your word again today, for encouraging us again today that all shall be well with us. I decree, O oh God, that all will indeed be well with us in the name of Jesus. For everyone listening or watching, Lord, in any area of our lives, that it might seem like things are not going well. We speak the word of God to it, that it shall be well in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the encouragement that is building up in our hearts, in our spirit. Thank you for faith that is building up in us, even by virtue of this word today. We give you all the glory, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you're rejoicing already because indeed, all shall be well with you and your household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Bible text today is from Isaiah chapter 3, from verse 10 to 11. Isaiah 3, 10 to 11. I read from the New King James Version. He says, Say to the righteous that it shall be well with them, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe to the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. Pray that that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. You will always be righteous, even on the side of God. Never a wicked person in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our memory verse is from Isaiah 3.10. Isaiah 3.10 and it reads, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. God is ready to bless us with the fruit of the things that we do as righteous children of God. He never owes us anything. This almighty God never fails. He's the one who is all powerful. If he says that you are righteous, then indeed you are. If he says it is well with the righteous, then indeed it is well with the righteous. It is what God declares that happens. Is the one whose words can never be changed. When a word is spoken or when you say oh, something has been passed into law, it has to have been from the mouth of an important person in the law. You know, possibly the most important person in the land. If a child just, you know, makes a random statement somewhere, no matter how strong that statement seems to sound, it will not hold water. So whoever it is that is speaking the word also shows the importance and how well, how much that word is going to happen. So when God says, according to Isaiah 3.10, our memory verse and Bible text of today, Say ye unto the righteous, it shall be well. Then it means that it is so sure. This God, who is the all-powerful God, this God, who is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending of all things, has declared that it shall be well. And so it is for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Indeed, I want faith to rise up in your heart this day, knowing fully well that no one, nothing, no circumstance can change the word that God has declared. But if you look closely at the word that we are receiving from our Lord today, it says, Say ye to the righteous. So it means that your righteousness is a prerequisite to getting this blessing, to getting this miracle, to getting this declaration active in your life. So the first thing is that you need to check if you are righteous. And peradventure you're not. You need to first become righteous. And how do you become righteous? By surrendering your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday's topic was call to salvation. And maybe by chance you missed it. You have another opportunity to become the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. You need to accept that Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You probably heard this, you know, 
a few times before this one or maybe you might have even given your life to christ at some point but the life that you're living you yourself cannot declare that i am righteous then this is time for you to retrace your steps to check how you're living and to say lord i surrender my life to you I give you full control of my time, of my moment, of my days. Oh, Lord, take control of my heart. Take control of my mind. In the name of Jesus, I lay all that I am down at your feet. I pick up your yoke. I put on the I put on Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. Thank you because my sins are forgiven. I do not return to my vomit. I don't return to my sins. I am a child of God. I declare I am a child of God. I am saved. Oh glory to God. If you've said those prayers from your heart, you are a child of God. And indeed you have become righteous by virtue of the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus and how he has washed you just now with his blood. Someone should give glory to God. Hallelujah. Indeed, we need to know that the life we're called to as children of God is not just for us to be saved and then die someday and go to heaven. No, we are expected to produce fruit. If you look at our memory verse of today, Isaiah 3, 10, it says, Say ye to the righteous that they shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. So if you sit down and you are idle and you're doing nothing, there will be no fruit for you to eat from. Do you see this? This is why you know that your call unto God to salvation is that you can rise up and begin to produce fruit. The Bible says, Maybe you've been experiencing droughts in your business or in your finances. Wealth comes to you now in the name of Jesus. As I speak forth this word of God, it becomes active and becomes manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Have you been desiring to produce fruit in keeping with righteousness? And it seems it has seemed difficult for you. This is your season, your season of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Barrenness is banished in your life because the word of God has come to you today. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. God is doing something great in your life this season. I want you to receive it by faith. I want you to receive it by determination that you will live an intentional life working according to the word of God, working according according to the spirit of God, living as the righteousness of God on earth. And indeed, because you are righteous, I declare again, it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want us to go ahead and thank God and say, Father, thank you because I am righteous. Thank you for making me righteous. Thank you for declaring over my life that all will be well with me. Thank you because indeed everything that looked bad in my life before, everything begins to look good. No more sickness, no more failure, no more bondage, no more barrenness, no more poverty in in the name of Jesus, I declare over me, over mine, over everyone associated with me, living a righteous life, it shall be well in the name of Jesus. Thank you because I produce fruit in the name of Jesus and I eat of the fruit of my doings according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of glory. We give you all the praise, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.